Good morning to all traders and welcome to this market size video. Today is the 16th of December. Big day for FOMC and Fed interest rate decisions. Of course, we're going to hear about, uh, well, how much uh, or for how long, I would say, the uh, Fed is going to continue uh, buying bonds for. And this is going to play, of course, a significant role to how the markets are going to react. What else we hope to hear and that might be the trigger point for uh, the government in the U.S., is Powell um, keep nudging Congress towards stimulus. Because we do have good news around the stimulus. We hear um, some positive developments. However, we haven't seen anything being on paper, uh, anything signed so far. So that might be the trigger point. The truth is that uh, the markets have been optimistic because since the rollout of the vaccines, actually, you know, there is, of course, increasing um, hopes now that, uh, you know, transportation, um, travel uh, and other sectors are going to uh, start improving. And as a result, oil is um, positive, it remains positive, despite the fact that IEA announced a demand decline for the outlook in 2021 and despite the fact that we've seen the api reporting a weekly inventories uh, build as well one would have thought that you know all would have been actually in trouble we're going to see whether this is the case in today's eia because it's going to affect the markets now one would assume with risk appetite increase gold would actually be lower but gold at the same time is also high moving along with oil I believe this is a pre-FOMC um, move, um, first of all. Second, it might be, um, because it's the last FOMC of the year as well, where the, the seasonal rally starts. And if we also add on to this the fact that um, Goldman Sachs announced a physical gold ETF a couple of days ago, that may have been... Uh, uh, as well, the trigger point for the seasonal rally. Now, with all that said, today uh, we're not going to talk about Brexit or the fiscal stimulus at all. Okay, so uh, we do have developments, as I said before, and they are likely to affect the gold going forward. But uh, we're going to talk about the oil because we're expecting the EII, the AEA report to come out, and also, of course, uh, gold. Then uh, we're going to talk about silver and natural gas. Okay, I want to start with um, the oil, though, because, um, well, to be honest, <laughs> I'm a bit more um, confident in, in this particular uh, scenario because we looked at it last week and there was a change in last week's uh, scenario over here. And with this now being the way three, which seems to be coming into play quite well, as I expected. Uh, now, I'm looking at this as an ABC, this perhaps an ABC one, two, three, four and five. To get wave four okay we get signals on the rsi and macd and they, that could actually be well the case and i will explain why i'm expecting this to last a little bit longer down here because if we assume of course that this is indeed the labeling over here in the minor degree and this is indeed wave four then we want this to last more and longer than wave two right the depth doesn't really matter but we want this to last longer which means a flat pattern would actually fit in wave four very well because wave two it is sharp okay and then from there we can start looking for prices moving higher whether this is going to be a four for a continuation down to five or you know it's going to be a wave one because we had a reversal down there we're going to see it's very early to say that uh, for now but for the time being i'm seeing a little bit more downside here or a sideways consolidation perhaps even a triangle who knows okay now on gold uh, gold has bounced off uh, here quite nicely uh, we called this bounce maybe even three weeks ago to be honest and now we're moving up um, I called last week the 38.2 1882 which is the financial retracement of a wave four right it didn't it didn't get there okay so that's why I'm looking at this as a one two three four and five okay so I still believe the first impulse of the upside is not completed okay and you might ask why for here and not why not another move down here well we could see this but i'm looking at the impulses over here 
this upside over here is not impulsive this upside is not impulsive okay this upside is not impulsive this is the only impulsive upside that we have seen uh, over the past few months right that's why i'm thinking this is the reversal point and we're going to continue higher of course i think as i said before 1882 first then perhaps a, a, a pullback and then a continuation up we have this been supported a little bit this upside move to 38.2 which is likely to create also a bearish signal over here for the pullback in wave two so we're going to get one two and then continue higher quickly on natural gas and then uh, we'll do the silver natural gas last week we called this move to the downside okay we said we expect wx and y here now uh, similarly this is not impulsive doesn't look much this is not uh this could be an impulse one two three four and five correct then we'll get a two and then all the way to the upside yes it's a very similar scenario with gold as well and also in wave four but of c right so we're expecting more downside uh once we get up here right now in case we turn it means that i would want this um, to break in case we don't turn sorry right i want this to break to continue higher and this is what this, the, the uh, first scenario is in case we stop over here and, and we turn lower we can go down to 220 okay there is a signal on the market and on the rsi as well for more downside but i believe we're going to get a fresh high over here first then a pullback down for wave two or even perhaps you know a continuation down to uh, make this a triple zigzag instead okay and quickly on silver a similar very similar uh, case with gold but as i explained before i don't really like the fact that we didn't create a fresh low down here right it's rare that we are going to see such big divergence between gold and silver okay for example gold moving up and then silver having to turn lower to create a new low but it's not impossible that said either way i'm seeing this as an impulse as well one two three four it's much closer to a wave five than gold is okay perhaps even the 25 and then we can get a, a pullback um, for a continuation or we're gonna get another move to the downside to create a fresh low i want to see this fresh low to be honest to really confirm that this is indeed wave two uh, if i don't that doesn't necessarily mean we are going to get that either way it just purely means that this is a truncated wave y which seems to happen be often the case okay and we're going to continue higher uh, on here as well but as i said in the short term i'm just expecting a false break above the previous high and then a pullback down either in wave two or in corrective a b and c okay thank you very much for watching pay attention in fomc and uh the fed's announcement of course and we'll speak again tomorrow